And as promised, we're going to get into some clips that the Rathmans have generously shared with us tonight. So you have an opportunity to review these as we do and give us your opinions mm -hmm. on what it is you're seeing and hearing. The first I'm going to pull up here that we're going to discuss is the clear bench people. So, Tony and Cherie, if you want to give us some background for it, Charles, Charles will pump it up. What yeah. happened here? Where were you? What's the background? We were in the Jerome Grand Hotel in, in Jerome, Arizona. And mm. we were the only people on the floor. And there was a bench at the end of the hall. And I kept saying to Shree, what, what, what a strange place to put a bench. Well, yeah. we, it was about two o'clock in the morning and we were wandering through the hall with the FLIR and we caught, and I, I've looked at this thing probably 20, 30 times trying to figure out if it was some just distortion within the FLIR that was causing what we were looking at. But these are two very clearly shaped human looking bodies sitting on the bench and they're not showing body temperature. They are very close to the room temperature. This is Jerome Grand Hotel in Jerome, Arizona. I had Charles play it for the folks. That's the bench, right in the frame. Oh, um. There are two people sitting on that bench. See them? Oh yes, I can see it, yes. Uh, the next one we want to get on to is one that's labeled Get Out of My House. And Charles, we're going to play that twice for everybody. We'll play it once and then we'll repeat it for everybody to hear. Uh, a little background on this, Tony. Sure. It was a cemetery that was actually called or nicknamed <laughs> the Lost Soul Cemetery because they would bury people there that either had no family or they didn't know connections. So, it, you know, it's kind of a sad place. But we were there, we were doing some investigating, and this one's an interesting EVP because it uses background sound, which was actually the wind that was blowing. But you can hear this voice plain as a day, and I'll let people listen to it before I say any more. Okay, let's play it. I just came here to talk to you. Okay, let's repeat that again. I just came here to talk to you. These next two clips are going to demonstrate that. The first one, um, Tony, it, it, it's someone says hello to you. Hi, Tony. Yep. So where were you and what was going on there? We were in the Hotel San Carlos, and it was one of our first experiences with a, with a, with a spirit box. We had bought an SP7, and when you hear the clip, you can clearly hear it running. You can hear the white noise, the static. But I simply said, can you say hello? And of course, we were recording again with multiple different recorders. This was consistent on every one of them because it was coming out of the spirit box. But my name, hello, is said, and my name is said, and I'll, I'll let people hear it. Okay, so Charles, let's run this twice for everybody. Can you say hello? <laughs> Okay, let's play that one more time. Can you say hello? Well, the next one we're going to play falls along those same lines, except now we got a surname. We have the full name where you seem to have recorded someone addressing you properly. So let's play that role. Well, before we do that, let's get that background. Okay, well, this particular one was captured in the Old Phelps Dodge Hospital, which we, Cherie and I, run today as the Copper Canyon Paranormal Research Center. The activity in there is beyond belief. 
EVPs, footsteps, doors slamming, shadow, shadow figures, uh, screams, doctors asking for equipment. It's just, it's unbelievable. But I didn't, I don't even think I asked a question this time. I was just walking down a hall with the recorder running. I was about to maybe ask a question, and this is what showed up. All right, Charles, let's play it. All right, hit it again. Excellent. All right, we'll move on to the next one. Tony, you're following along with me on this, right? I am. Okay, because I think I'm not, although, you know, <laughs> graphic will tell you what we think it said, but why don't you set this next one up? Well, we were doing a private home investigation, and normally we don't ever pull out any files from private home investigations because they are private home investigations and we respect the families that have called us in and the people that live under the the roof uh but we were given permission to share this one so um it's been put up on social media and other things but we were doing a private home investigation we set up they were complaining about movement in their hallway about shadow figures and voices so we set up laser grids motion detectors um uh digital cameras um a night vision camera um, i believe we asked one question and the answer comes through and after you play it i'll explain why this was significant all right very good let's play that right now please can you walk up and down the hall for us okay and <laughs> let's play that one more time can you walk up and down the hall for us? <laughs> the, the spirit in the house literally comes on and says, your camera's not working. And sure enough, we get the camera back and, it and did amazing. not record a <laughs> thing. This next clip we're going to play is really one of the, my favorite ones that you sent, guys. Um, why don't you set this up for us? And then I think it speaks for itself. Sure. This was another private home investigation. And this was the second time we were there. The first time um, they called us back, said we're still having activity. So we went back again. And when we determined that there were still spirits in the home, that activity was still occurring, Cherie <laughs> took a recorder, went back to one of the back rooms and said, you're not welcome here. You need to leave. You're scaring them. They don't want that. And this was the response that she got. All right, let's play that. You better leave this house. You are not welcoming here. All right, let's hit that one more time. You better leave this house. You are not welcoming here. Okay, so uh, let's set this up for us here. Um, where were you and what's going on with this one, guys? Sure. Well, this is back at the Phelps Dodge Hospital again, and this is one of the first EVPs we ever captured in the hospital. It was I think once we took it over and started running it, it was a night that we were walking around. And, of course, we're always filming. Cherie's always taking pictures and recording. Well... We walked into this room and it had kind of a strange smell to it, kind of a bad odor. And I stated that. And the EVP left on the machine is what you're going to hear. Okay, very good. Charles, if you please. Okay, this room has the eeriest feeling of all of them so far. And they were smell. That's great. One more time, please. Okay, this room has the eeriest feeling of all of them so far. And they were smell. <laughs> Crazy response. And we did not hear that with our own ears. It wasn't a disembodied voice. It was only on the recorder. Now, um, the next clip we're going to run, you guys were kind enough to, um, to um, send this to us. This was actually what? A week or two ago, this was from the Queen Mary investigation. The clip that we're, you're going to show next 
wasn't part of the show. Sheree and I were actually testing the box in a location. Whether that'll actually show up um, on that review or not, I don't know. But that's why I felt confident sharing it tonight. Yeah, if it doesn't, it should, and you'll hear that. This is one of those when I highlighted the section of the response that I was literally blown away by it. I mean, too much of there's coincidences, and then there's coincidences. So, Correct. Why don't, why don't we let everybody hear this? Charles, run it up for us. Spirits, can you tell me what ship we're on? What ship are we on? Say the name. <laughs> okay, we're going to play that again because it does come up quick. It, it, it does. And Shri and I have, Shri and I have argued you? over what it was saying. I mean, I've slowed it down to the point where you can hear the hear syllables, it. the queen. Or you can yeah, definitely I, hear I, the... I tell the, you what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah well, I understand. It definitely has the hard E, and this is one of those, I suppose, headphones. If you, We'll give you three seconds to run and get earbuds. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's play it again. Spirits, can you tell me what ship we're on? What ship are we on? Say the name. I got to come down on the side of Tony here, Cherie. I'm sorry, but I guess I, <laughs> I, I'm not going to text you anymore at nine. <laughs> like, bug you. You know, it would it would have been different if it was Queen Mary or, you know, something more yeah. officially titled. But, right. you know, the answer of the Queen, I, I never even expected to hear that because I was expecting Queen Mary or the Queen Mary. or And then it was just the Queen. And I'm like, did I just hear that right? But, yeah. you know, you're right. There's some people hear different tones differently, different frequencies differently, and there's yeah. subjectivity in any audio. So I, I do agree with that. Sure, Sheree, look at it this way. Maybe they were referring to you. That's ah, what I was going to be. The queen. <laughs> queen. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ken. Okay, Ken. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. <laughs> All right. She's smiling <laughs> now. That's a good thing. The next one we have is a video clip. This is the one... For whatever reason, I couldn't get sound on here because you're going to hear water running. Unfortunately, you don't. But we'll play it a couple of times because it's a very quick clip. And I tried to label it to direct everyone's attention to where this happens. But this is kind of crazy. And, you know, we don't mind running it three times if anybody's like, I'm still not picking it up. But why don't you guys set it up before we move on to it? So... We were in an area, this is the Hotel San Carlos again, downtown Phoenix. We were in an area of the hotel that was closed to the general public. Well, we, we had some friends that worked we're there. We're not supposed to be there. Right, that's what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> okay. We weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> well, we, we got in and the manager showed up. And so Cherie didn't get back in. So I'm in there alone and I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind a wall because I didn't know if the manager was going to walk in. I didn't want to be captured standing in a room that's behind a locked um, metal gate. But I was in there. And so I'm waiting for Cherie to come back, but I can't. She didn't have her phone. I couldn't send her a text. So this went on for, what, an hour? An hour so almost. I'm, like, stuck in the dark, hiding in the corner. And I, got, I have my cameras running, and I have the other equipment running. But this particular water faucet is behind a bar that's no longer used today. And the turn, the handles on this faucet are not like one of those pressure valves that you push up or down. Okay, These are okay. turn handle spigots. Mm -hmm. So, and it takes some force to crank them to get that water to flow. You will see in this video as my camera's sitting aimed at the bar, you will see this water turn on and turn off. <clears throat> It happens really quickly, and like I said, if we had sound, you could hear the water running, but for some reason. So the last one we you alluded to the red guard uh the red garter in.
Okay, so this is another FLIR clip. It is. And this is the last one we're going to run here. So set this up for us. Well, Sheree and I, um, there's a old bordello in Williams, Arizona, and it was used mm -hmm. as a house of prostitution for years. Right. Um, and it's it was actually built so that the lower floors were a bar and the upper floors were the house of prostitution or the bordello, which you had to go through this special entrance and you had to go up these stairs to get there. Well, we stayed the weekend there. Mm -hmm. And the first night there was one other guest up there. Then the next, the following, the night. following night, there was nobody. So <laughs> they were nice enough for us to open up the entire place. We had access to every room and we put cameras everywhere. I mean, we had that thing wired like crazy, but there was like a double L shaped hallway. It went down, then it turned, and then it went down again. And at the intersection, we couldn't get a camera to hit about a five foot section just because of the angles that they were placed. Well, where this FLIR image was captured, and it's hard to see because we're in the first hallway. So we're, you're seeing the wall, and then you can see in the right-hand section the crack that shows the remainder of the hall going down, and that's where this FLIR image appears. Oh, very good. So let's take a look at this clip. Wait, there's something, something at the end of the hall. Be Oh, oh my oh. gosh, baby, what is that? I don't know, hold it on. It's a woman. Like a woman or two. Two people? I can't tell. I think the dress. It looks like a dress. Let me try to move a little closer. That's it, that's it. It's, it's oh. moving. Holy crap. It's still there. Yeah, I see it. Okay, let's go forward. Oh, oh, I walked away. Wow. That's, wow. Wow. It, it was, and then when we finally got past the L portion and you could see down that hall, the rest of the clip shows it, it's gone. It's not there. But, but even though you could only see that sliver of the rest of the hall, you can clearly see it literally disappear into what would have been the madam of the house room yeah, that's the mat. Which and was at the end of that hall. Right. And, and these are little tidbits that you don't know when you're looking right. at the video background. Right. Um, Would anybody it, have any objection if we played that again? Really? No. I to love get it. out of yeah, here. Yeah. Please, let's, uh, Charles, please, let's do that. Wait, there's something, something at the end of the hall. Be oh, 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 my oh. gosh, baby, what is that? I don't know, hold it on. Looks it's a woman. Like a woman or two. Two people? I can't tell. I think the dress. It looks like a dress. Let me try to move a little closer. That's it, that's it. It's, it's oh. moving. Holy crap. It's still there. Yeah, I see it. Okay, let's go forward. Oh, it, oh I walked away. Yeah, you can see the, the figure it, of a woman. I had just, normally yes. when we use the flare, we put it on a tripod because stability is so important when when a flare is, is producing heat signature imagery. I didn't get that chance. I literally turned it on, saw the image down that hallway and never had a chance to stabilize the camera, which unfortunately there is movement and that can cause disruptions in a flare image. So. You know, anybody who's watching know we know that. Um, it was just a timing issue, and we either had an opportunity to try to film it further or lose it. And so mm -hmm. we, we took the option. Well, you know what? I appreciate your candor on that. I don't yeah. think it adversely affected this particular clip, mm -hmm. but that's something that, you know, you bear in mind. And, right. You know, right. Right. And uh, that's why I love you guys, because you <laughs> will you will look at it from common sense perspective and and let everybody know that hey this is you know you're not you're, you're not here to fool anybody so yeah